Hello everyone. Thank you for coming up today. My old subscribers, thank you. And to those that are viewing for the first time or that have not subscribed, please click on the subscribe button and the notification bell so you get notified each time we upload a new video. And to my new subscribers, thank you for subscribing. Another popular actor has just passed away. It was just announced a few minutes ago that the actor who was known as Luke Westlake, who is 26 years old, had messaged his eldest girlfriend threatening to take his own life the night before he was found dead. However, he graduated from one of the UK's top drama schools in 2017, this talented actor went on to appear in Luther and BBC dramas, Doctors and No Offense. And an inquest today heard that during the first national lockdown, the actor was stressed about being out of work and was suffering from long distance relationship breakdown. He tried to take his own life in April and again in June, but he wasn't successful with that. Just over a week after the first attempt in June, he now messaged his ex-girlfriend, Hannah, threatening to kill himself. Something that was not uncommon. That was what the cops were actually saying because of this particular lockdown and tragically the young actor was found dead the next morning and the cause of his death was concluded as hanging himself following a post-mortem examination and toxicologist discover a substantial amount of thc in luke's body indicating heavy cannabis use and luke was seeking therapy for childhood abuse that was what the cops were actually saying after they had discovered his cops but the actor was left frustrated after he was denied as a specialist wanted to first deal with his drug and alcohol issues and appearing in the video link dr john that's a clinical lead for oxford health NHC Foundation Trust said that if someone is using, it will be very problematic for them to have that treatment. He said you should try to deal with the drug and alcohol problem and stabilize it for a reasonable amount of time. That the key issue is that in trauma therapy, you will delve into very distressing things from someone's past. And in order to do that they need to be in a really good place and he said if you have not done the pre-work it is very risky and it is like going into surgery without the pre-work of that particular surgery that you want to take on also there's an assistant who is by the name M michael walsh he was sitting in front of the parents and he concluded that the verdict was suicide that is how luke killed himself and luke was just 26 years old a very young man and as of the time of his age he had a history of anxiety and depression and substantial misuse by the way of alcohol and cannabis and he had reported a childhood abuse and did not agree with plans of clinicians to deal with the substance abuse before he had some treatment for trauma when he was younger and it was said that luke found it difficult to deal with stressful triggers his relationship and his employment as well and it was noted that it was not uncommon for him to threaten to harm himself such as the occasion that happened last year in june during that lockdown and he had threatened to take his own life and he had taken cannabis shortly before he died it's just so unfortunate and his early success in acting included playing the 
recurring role of Adam Miller in Dark Heart for ITV and he also played Dean Wayne in the third series of No Offense and he appeared in BBC One's Doctors and a spokesman for the esteemed drama school said today we pay tribute to Luke Westlake BA acting 2017 graduate and a passionate individual creative soul and brilliant actor we are immensely saddened to hear of his passing this is what one of the spokespersons from the drama school where he attended was actually saying and a lot of people have actually come out to pay tribute to him saying that he was an exceptionally brilliant instinctive and truly transformative actor whose passing is nothing short of tragedy it's really really heartbreaking and it's so sad and even the drama school classmates have since set up the luke westlake scholarship which rewards students with more than three thousand euros worth of artistic and financial support for their final year of training and first years in the acting industry they said that the scholarship was established when they realized that many actors were being priced out of their career once they left training that this year they have renamed the scholarship in memory of luke westlake that's the late actor who is a friend and a talented actor a diligent first working class actor he represents everything the scholarship stands for and it was a very good tribute that was paid to him by his school mates or those that had actually gone through the drama school where he had graduated from it's so sad to hear things happen like this and it's really heartbreaking when people take their own life he had so much talent and so much more to give and it is devastating sad to hear that he shortened his own life you know when people take their own lives you'll be like why would you have to do that when you can actually seek for help however they were also saying that for people who knew luke as the actor that they will know he battled with his emotions and the wish that they could have created awareness of this mental health issues within the acting and the performing arts and also to bring to forefront of people's mind and how this deeply troubled young minds can be treated it's such a terrible and painful incident that this just happened and again you know there are from what this doctor has said he said there are stages with regards to having to treat issues like this he was already suffering from the intake excessive intake of cannabis alcohol and he was suffering from abuse of his past when he was young and he was now going to treat that but the doctor said you first need to be in a better place that is they needed to start first treating his excessive intake of alcohol and that cannabis which was another thing that was also destroying him as well but that luke wasn't ready for that he just wanted to go straight to deal with the abuse he wanted that to be worked on but the doctor was saying this there are stages in issues like this that you need to start from this point before we get to this point which the doctor was saying that he needed to have a clear head and clear mind and for him to have that they needed first to treat the issues of the cannabis and the alcohol intake excessive alcohol intake when they have treated that and he's cleared of that particular issue that he's going through then they can now go on with the abuse so as to get his head cleared so you can imagine that someone who is into excessive drinking and excessive intake of cannabis the person's head won't be clear if probably he's been confronted with certain questions or how the abuse has been happening probably because of that intake of those substances which is not good to his system it may even affect his own judgment or affect his own comments with regards to that therapy he is going for he actually sought for therapy which was a very good thing he did 
but then he was not willing to go about it the way the doctors felt was very okay to help him through that particular process that he was actually fighting with it's such a pain please people should not take their own lives it doesn't help rather it will worsen situations you just put your family and friends in a very difficult situation everybody will be wishing they could have helped like now his classmates are saying they wish they had created an awareness earlier about this mental illness he was going through they knew that he had issues with his emotions and then they didn't go any further with that so right now they are feeling bad this is what happens when people commit suicide you just end up leaving people with regrets with feeling that they are to be blamed for your death and all you know this is another state and Sometimes it makes some people, they fall sick. They go into a different state of mind completely. So please, while you are still thinking of yourself, think of loved ones, people who love you around. Think of how they will feel when you pass away. Nobody is happy to hear that a family member or a friend has passed away or has killed himself. Suicide should never be an option. There's a young promising man, a young guy, very young guy of 26 years old, had a very good acting career. I know, yes, this lockdown has caused a lot of problems for a lot of people, especially people that are more of the outgoing type or you're working and you've lost your job. It's really traumatizing this time. So a lot of people are struggling with mental health issues, with depression, with excessive alcohol intake. A lot of people are going through a lot, but please, suicide is not the option or is not a solution. It's just a way of making things worse for people around you especially people that love and care for you and in issues like this just like the classmates were saying they would have created an awareness please if you've sensed anything from somebody i see the person is like going towards mental illness or it has started already you don't need to even tell that person please call for help so that the person can get the help he or she needs some may not be willing to go to get that help or meet a therapist or meet a doctor for help or for counseling please do that on the person's behalf there are free helplines that you can call and you will see them right there at the doorstep to help that person some are not free some are ashamed of it but please don't let them die or wallow and end up committing suicide this has been happening of late actually this lockdown you could find out lots of people family members even young people they've lost their lives they've killed themselves because they can't cope with the whole thing that is happening in the world right now we all know it is not an easy situation at the moment especially for those that have lost their jobs they are locked down in and they can't even fend for themselves is difficult yes but please try and reach out to somebody there are some people that you can still trust and you can talk to or there are some people that you can still see at least you wear your mask and then practice the social distancing communicate with somebody probably when you when you see someone face to face you'll feel a little bit relieved and you'll feel comfortable probably you go out there you could go out in the park or find a place that you could still have the social distance wearing your mask and then ensure that you are practicing all the cdc guidelines then you could maybe talk to somebody I think it would help I need to go a long way. Don't lock yourself up in, in that way. Pick up your phone and call. There are people that would even stay on the phone. Those workers that are helping people to cop suicide, they can stay with you on the phone for as long as you want, so long as they would help you. Even talking to someone over the phone helps a lot too. Please don't wallow in pain. Don't take your own life. That's not a solution. And if you can't talk to somebody because you are ashamed please just pick the phone the person is not seeing your face pick up the phone and call talk to somebody and if you have anybody that you know you can trust and see one on one the person is well and okay practice your social distancing cdc guidelines wearing your masks washing your hands then you communicate it will help ease whatever you are going through 
don't wallow in this pain. A lot of people are going through a lot at this time. It only takes the grace of God for people to still stand firm. It is not easy. Some people have lost loved ones. Some are even being affected with the virus. It's really difficult. So, but please, let's all hang in there. We know that by the grace of God, things will be fine. It may not be completely back to normal, but then we hope and we pray that Almighty God will intervene and help this situation. And especially for those that have lost their jobs and those that are going through depression, please speak up. Please don't wallow in your pain alone. Communicate, pick up the phone. There are free helplines. Help is just a call away. Do that as soon as you can. Or if you know a friend or you know somebody, it doesn't have to be your friend, even your neighbor, you can call for help on behalf of that person just to save a life. Let's all try to see how we can save a life, especially at this trying moment and difficult situation. It's so painful that this actor, Luke Westlake, has just passed away. We pray that the soul of Luke Westlake rest in perfect peace with the Lord and may God console his family, friends and every other person that knew him well wish us. May Almighty God console them. Please don't take your own life. Call and you will get the help you need. Friends, if you have anything to say, you can put that down at the comment section. Friends, I'm here today to talk about how to start up a new YouTube channel. So for those that are looking to start up a new YouTube channel, probably you've been trying to figure out how to go about it, or you have been trying to see what it entails or what you need to start. That's why I'm here today to give you the easy way for you to get this done. Not just the easy, but the best method and also to give you or to talk about the best teacher who will give you all that it's required for you to start up your own YouTube channel. This is a teacher. He is really successful with his YouTube and he has been a teacher for so long now. Teacher is Matt Pa. He's going to give you a step-by-step -step method on how to start up your own YouTube channel. No stone unturned. Every step of the way, he's going to lead you through it. You have links that you can actually reach out to him and communicate with him directly. That's Matt Pa there. You can see the huge successes he has made in YouTube. You can see his silver. You can see the gold. You can also see his revenue that he's actually making on YouTube, which is very huge. He is going to give you a YouTube step-by-step -step tube mastery class. Every step of the way from the beginning of the opening of the channel, to how you can start up and put up your videos. He is leaving no stone unturned, like I said. So for those that are seeking for how to start up their own YouTube channel, this is the easiest and the fastest way for you to have access to this particular teacher who is honest and straightforward and you will enjoy every bit of the class and you will have lots of gain. At the end of your class, you will have lots to hold on to and to start up your own YouTube channel. It's going to be like an ABC class starting from the scratch. So please, for those of you that are interested in starting up your own YouTube channel, Matt Pa, he is the teacher and you will have direct access to him. I'm dropping the link below. So please, you just click on that link and you will have access to Matt Pa's class. He is going to give you the whole content 
of YouTube and all that it takes for you to be successful in YouTube and how to start YouTube from the scratch. Like I said, and I'm going to repeat, he's leaving no stone unturned. And it's so interesting that if you have any kind of complaint, no matter the time you have this complaint or you are confused about anything, you can communicate directly to him and he will give you a response as soon as he gets your question or as soon as he gets your mail or anything you're trying to confirm from him he is quick at responding and he will give you the right answers and even if you go elsewhere to search you find out that what he is saying is actually true he wouldn't mislead you so please for those of you that want to start your own youtube channel from the scratch and see how you can be successful on YouTube, please go to this link, click on the link below. So you'll have access to the teacher. That's the teacher there you can see and see his success. You can go through that and then you click on the link so that you can have direct access to Mark Pa himself. This teacher, you will enjoy and enjoy every bit of the classes that he is going to give to you. So friends, do not forget to click the link below so you have access to MathPass to Mastery class and he will give you the best teaching for YouTube you will really need to start your own channel. Friends, thank you for coming up today. Please, for those that have not subscribed, click on the subscribe button and the notification bell so you get notified each time we upload a new video thank you once again and god bless you all